Hey guys, welcome to the 29th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to finish up looking at the loft tool. And the last thing that we really have to look at is editing the transition. And the transition is basically just the lines that connect one sketch to the other. So if I just go up to the loft tool right here and loft these two sketches together, we see that it automatically connects these two sketches with these four lines. Well, let's say I want to connect this point with this point instead of this one. Well, what I can do is just edit that in this transition tab right here instead of having to redraw rails. So I'm just going to go over to the transition tab. And as soon as I do that, we see that there's nothing that I can actually change. And that's because automatic mapping is selected. And automatic mapping basically just means that it will automatically connect these two sketches together. Well, we don't want that. We want to be able to edit it. So what we're going to do is just uncheck that. And as soon as we do so, we see that uh, over here, it just shows that we can edit them, and we see all these points right here. And automatically, we see that this line right here is grayed out, and that just basically means that we can edit it. So let's say I want to change this point right here. I want to connect this point to somewhere over here. Well, what I can do is just move it right there and click, and as soon as I do so, we see that it changed that line. So it now connects this point to this point right there. And we can do the same with this line over here. But what we're going to have to do is actually go through these points right here until this line becomes gray so that we know that we can edit it. So we're just going to go down here, select set to, oh, and we see that that's this line right here. So let's say I just want to connect this point with this point. Well, I can do so. I just go over here, move that point to about right there, and now we just see that it connects this point to this point right there. All right, so now if I click OK, we see that it actually changes that loft right there. So instead of there being a line from here to here, there's now a line from here to here. All right, and now we can see that line if I just select it. Well, let's say I want to add another line. So I want this point to be connected to this point right here, but I also want there to be another line that connects this point to this point. Well, let me just undo that loft right there and just go back up to the loft tool. So now I just go again and select these two sketches go over to the transition tab, uncheck automatic mapping so that I can actually edit the uh, lines. And now instead of actually editing an existing line, I'm just going to go ahead and add another line. So to do that, I just have to go ahead right here and click inside of that little box. And now I can just go ahead and draw a line. So I just got to select two points, one on each sketch. So I'm going to select this point right here, and I'm going to select this point right there. So now we see that there's a line that connects this point to this point, and there's another line that connects this point to this point right there. All right, so now I just go ahead and click OK. And now in our loft, we see that there's a line from here to here, and there's another line from here to here. All right, so that's pretty much all that we're going to be doing in this tutorial, and that's all there is to the loft tool. In the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at this sweep tool up here. All right, so see you guys.